So one of the first changes that occurs in when rhizobia meet a plant is that the root hairs, which are ordinarily straight, and here's an example of a fairly normal looking root hair right here. Instead, root hairs grow in a way that's deformed. Now, don't think of this as root hairs curling. Plant cells don't curve. Think of a plant cell as a balloon inflated really hard inside a box. Plant cells don't curl, but they can grow so that they form a curl, and that's what happens here. If you take a look at this root hair, instead of growing straight, it's grown so that it tops over and makes what's called a shepherd's crook or crozier. In that, you can see a bacterial invasion, which is called an infection thread, and that's shown here, this highly refractile line going down through the, uh, in, through the root hair. Now, at the same time that invasion is occurring on the outside, early events are also occurring inside the plant root. So I want you to imagine that the plant root is going out this way. Now here we have an uninfected plant root. It's typical plant root cells. You can see that they're very long. They're, they look empty. That's because they're mostly filled with vacuoles, uh, a, a large vacuole. Plant root cells in the cortex here have one main job. That is to transport and transport and transport water, ions, nutrients, and so forth. That's what these cells do. They don't divide. But if the correct rhizobium, and this is an example of something that happens only if you have the right species of bacterium and plant, if the correct rhizobium um, is infected onto that plant, you get this. You can see the mitotic figures happening here. The cells in the inner cortex of the root have begun to divide. They're going to form what's called a primordium. Those cells continue dividing, and the infection that started with an infection thread continues all the way through into these newly dividing cells. Here you can see a cell that's uh, just starting to divide. And what happens is that um, if you can follow this arrow, you can see right here there is a little uh, membrane bound, kind of an empty looking vacuole, and within it uh, a peach colored oblong. That is a single rhizobium bacterium that's being taken up into the host cell and it's being engulfed by plant plasma membrane that's going to differentiate and uh, provide a special compartment that the rhizobium will be in at, uh, when it starts to fix nitrogen. So the bacteria at this point are released from the infection thread and they're bound in plant membrane sacs.